Hi Scorpios, it's Leonora. Welcome to Soul Searching Tarot. Thank you everyone for stopping by. I do integrate astrology with tarot card reads as well as spiritual messages. Scorpio, this is your general read, okay? Um, and I'm not sure if you know this, I do little Q&A love reads in between your general tarot card reads, okay? So while you wait for your general, I do love reads, specifically catered for love, okay? All right, so I hope everyone's doing well. I'm sending you lots of love, blessings, healing, abundance. Today I'm going to use my, um, what do you call this? Game of Thrones with my Chrysalis Tarot, okay? I'm going to clarify it with my Chrysalis Tarot. All right, let's get started. All right, so first spread, I have my uh, Two of Wands with the hair font. Oh, aren't we starting nice and big here? Fire sign, Taurus. If that means anything to you. It doesn't have to be, but um, they're, both, they're both in the upright. So one is... Um, looking towards us <laughs> and the other one is looking the other way so what does this tell me well someone's definitely waiting um on what on a commitment All right, well, I think for a lot of you, it is a commitment. Um, you may be in between two people, um, deciding in between two people. Um, so, you, I mean, even if you're not deciding, you may have two people on your mind. Um, it could be vice versa if it is, if you know, Scorpio. <laughs> but um, I definitely sense... Uh, a commitment not like you know what i'm saying friends would benefit like a commitment so someone uh, may be thinking this about you um and for you know for some of you uh they are two people that you may be considering has a commitment um or maybe one of them i sense that maybe because I do sense two different energies, Scorpios, okay? So bear with me. <sighs> Could one of them be an ex that wants to return, okay? It is Mercury retrograde. Venus is also retrograding, okay? It's either you're having a fallout or, you know, um, a coming together. One or the other. So, um, you know, God, Scorpios. Listen, in the end, there's a commitment. <laughs> so, I can only get commitment here. Um, there is a commitment coming. Um, oh, God, let's clarify it. I can't. All right, so I have here three of pentacles, uh, nine of cups in the reverse with my seven of swords. Ooh, someone is coming back, Scorpios. And they were, listen, they were not happy without you. Uh-uh. They were not. Yeah, this person's coming back. Look at this. Three of Pentacles in union. Oh, my God. Scorps. All right. Um... Yeah, okay. <laughs> Let's get more clarification. I mean, listen, I still sense in, like two people. Like you're right in the middle. And there's two people, okay? One on, on each side. <sighs> yeah. Um... You know, I mean, I don't know what to say. I, Scorpios, listen, I'm getting two energies that you know of. There's, n listen, I, it's not an old, and I mean, I'm sorry, it's not a new energy, okay? Now, could it, could you have been friends with one of them? You know what I mean? Like, is it a friend? 
an ex or two exes you you just know this person you know like one co-worker one of them is you know an ex <laughs> i don't know scorps um i mean I'll, I'll continue with the reading but listen um there's passion all around the board okay um this person wants to come back okay you may not know about it i know that um, they're not fulfilled and happy without you. So I think they're hiding this part. Um, but, you know, if you look at these two kids, I don't know if you could look at these uh, cute um, kids playing in the rain. I mean, this one was in, in my reverse. Um, but look at the sunflowers, the raindrops, the butterfly. I mean, I, I, I saw butterflies, um, or at least like a an imagery close to a butterfly in my three of cups. I don't know if you could see it on the stone wall or a cave. Like transformation. I mean, it looks like a butterfly to me, okay? Bear with me in my imagination. But I see it here too, okay? And so I just feel like there's some type of transformative energy. Um, and it could be with one or both of you if not all three you know um, and and maybe one person is going through some type of transformation maybe you transform them um, you know Scorpios you're known to transform people in a good and bad way sometimes both but um, yeah this person wasn't happy without you Okay, they weren't. And so they're coming back. All right, there's a comeback. All right, next spread. So I have my Four of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Ten of Wands, all in the reverse. Why is that? All right, um. Four Pentacles. I don't know, Scorps. I sense some crazy energy here. Um, I mean, not crazy, but ugh, let me just drink my coffee. <laughs> um. Oh gosh. Alright, so Four of Pentacles, my Game of Thrones, Ace of Swords, Ten of Wands. I'm going to start with these two energies. Um, I do sense deception. Believe it or not, I sense more of a deception here than I did with my Seven of Swords. Um, what was a deception? Well, third party big time um i think that you were in the dark about something uh you know someone did hide a secret from you and this 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 put uh, a burden in the relationship big time um so i don't know who's coming back for you scorps you know but um um there was some you know burden some stress uh you know i don't think it was nothing crazy i mean maybe for a handful of you but for the majority i don't think it was nothing crazy like a huge fallout or you know some type of um, abusive relationship you know what i mean if it is it's like maybe for one or two people you know i, I just don't sense that it was that big of a of a um breakup if that makes any sense you know with the ace of swords here in the reverse i just i it, it had to do more with lies okay um with my four of pentacles so this person let you go and now they want to come back oh that's pretty clear cut scorps <laughs> 
Um, you know, I want to clarify, but um, there's something that I can't pinpoint of, about this person here. Um, but let me just move on with the reading. Three of Swords, um, Five of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, all in the upright. Uh, all right, so this person did break your heart. <laughs> yeah, this is you for sure. Uh, with the swords, you know, you see the scrolls. It's a three of scrolls, which is a three of swords. <sighs> I sense that um, the tables have turned. So I, I really do sense that you were heartbroken before this person was. And this person is now in, this, in the same position that you were in the past. So if this person broke your heart, Scorpios... Guess what? Their heart is broken now. Why is that? Let's see. Um, look at them. Five of Pentacles. This is them. Yeah, regret. I sense regret, shame, disappointment. Big time disappointment. Loss of money, even. I mean, it, it, it could pertain to the events and circumstances, but for the majority, uh, of um of what i sense um what i sense the most is um emotional regret more than finance okay you you may have you may have lived with this person too okay now you don't um Nine of Wands. This person wants to come back and fight for you. They want to tell you a lot of things. Look at this. So my Nine of Wands, um, you know, you see uh, this imagery of, um, it's, it's a Nine of Spirals, which is equivalent to the Nine of Wands. I, I feel like you would maybe dealing with the fire sign, though. Yeah. Anyway, it doesn't have to be, but um, fire signs are Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Um... But the words that one that this person wants to say to you, um, you know, I, I mean, I do sense a little bit of everything with all these spirals, um, and it, communication is a, a has a lot to do with with the breakup. But presently, this person also wants to say a lot of things to you, and, and you know what? Maybe it's Maybe they want to talk about the past, what happened, um, acknowledge, you know, take responsibility, um, as well as tell, telling you, you know, that they want to fight for you. I mean, not literally, <laughs> but um, yeah. Yeah, this person's determined. I get a lot of determination here. Uh, okay. Interesting love read, Scorps. <laughs> All right, last spread. Let's see what's going on. All right. So I have my King of Cups, the Empress in the reverse, and then my Five of Swords. Interesting. All right, I did get a little bit of anxiety on my last spread. <laughs> like my stomach started queasing, you know? All right, so there was a huge breakup here. Okay, um, by huge meaning, it could have been a commitment, you know, that you had with this person. Yeah, a huge commitment. Um, it could have been a marriage, could have been a living situation. Um, you take it as it applies. But, um, you know, with my King of Cups, there, there's two energies I sense here. King of Cups with, that, with my Empress. So I have the Empress in, in, in the Hierophant so far has majors here. All right, Empress, Taurus, Libra, if that means anything to you. So again, Taurus. Um, 
You may have known this person. I mean, it's in the past. I don't... I don't sense that, that you, you've you known this person. Like, you know, like... I really don't sense that it was like a, a relationship you had for three months. I don't. I do sense more than that. Um... So it's, it's not like a relationship that you were in. And even if you were together for three months, you've known this person for ages. You know, if that makes sense. Like I'm, I'm, I'm not, what I'm trying to say is that this person did not appear in your life, you know, three months ago. And you had like a two-month relationship, you know. Um, what I'm trying to say is that you know, you have known this person. Um, whether you got, whether your folks were friends, um or partners, but, oh gosh, what is this, sorry, I'm distracted by my fingernails, okay, um, all right, what do I see here with my five of swords in the upright, I mean, again, sadness, disappointment, regret, could have been with, you know, could this energy be um, both of you? Yeah. Um, maybe not all of the above. You know, I, I I really sense for the most for the most part of your reading, Scorpios, it had to do a lot with communication. Yeah, the breakup had a lot to do with communication. This is interesting. I can't wait to clarify it though. So, I don't know, um, for those who've watched Game of Thrones, you know these two characters, right? Hi, Jon Snow and Daenerys. Um, <laughs> but, of course, not everybody is a Game of Thrones watcher. Thrones watcher. Let's explain a little bit about it. Um, you know, and, and for those who are asking, yes, King of Cups and the Empress still means the same in tarot. The meaning does not change, but... Let's start with the King of Cups over here. This King of Cups came from a kingdom um, that, that people respected, you know? And, um, and he was raised as a bastard. Now, granted, even though he was raised as a bastard, his entire life, that's how he, he proceeded, um, sorry, that's how he um, saw himself, okay? Let's not use fancy words, just say saw Leonore. That's how he saw himself and that's how he felt, you know, because he never fit in, um, you know? Um, his stepmother, you know, didn't, didn't take him in and 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 nourished him and and loved him the way she loved her own kids um you know she thought that her husband had an affair um while he was at war and and you know the baby was born and you know um the mother died and and he took um this character in um you know has one of his own kids so in t his entire life, he was, you know, raised as a bastard. People know, knew him as a bastard. You know, yes, he was in the, in the most respected kingdoms in the show, but... Yeah. <sighs> this character in the show, she also came from a very respected kingdom. Her father was once the king of all kingdoms. However, her father became mad, died, and her and her brother were left alone to raise themselves. And so eventually, as she grew up to be the most beautiful woman <laughs> Um, I meant not the most beautiful woman in the show, but, um, you know, she, she, obviously she was, you know, gorgeous, poised, 
Um, and she had every right to be. She was the heir. Um, but unfortunately, other kingdoms took her throne, her power, her family. She was left off to fend for herself. Marry, um, you know, someone that you didn't know, you know, like an arranged marriage. And so what I'm trying to say is, because I'm talking this out, not only for you, but for my own sake, because I'm trying to figure out what's going on with these two energies. These two characters in the show um, just grew up with low self-esteem. Trauma, specifically childhood trauma. It's a dysfunctional home. Do you know, and I don't mean a spoiler, I don't mean to be a spoiler alert, but did you know that these two, in the end, were <laughs> I mean, um, they were powerful. Come to find out one of them was not a bastard and come to find out that the other one didn't have the heir to the throne. It was like the story was reversed. I'm not gonna say which one, but in the end, not only did they love each other, respected each other, they had their difficulties, but in the end, they really did care and love for each other. And um, and the story goes on, but I'm gonna stop there. There is a pass that you that you have with this person. There's one person in particular that you have a history with. This history can be a past lifetime. I sense that for some of you this lifetime. I honestly sense both. You were meant to be together as far as meeting each other, either as friends, co-workers, or past relationship, an ex. For this person, or vice versa, whoever wants who back, it's because the, the transformation that both of you may have needed, I think both of you needed to go through a transformation, um, and maybe both of you were not happy, not happy, and, 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 and you know, one or two or three relationships that you've had since the breakup, for for both of you to come back together it, it it is a it's a love story i mean and to a point blank period you know i sat here and told you about these two characters because i felt a lot of energy and I'm, sometimes when i talk out my cards especially with my game of thrones um because i've only watched a season two times uh, <laughs> all these all six seasons um you know uh, and I'm sorry, I didn't mean to really spend so much, so much time um, in in this energy, but I I felt like I needed to. Okay, sometimes when my guides tell me things, I need to do it. Trust me, <laughs> I do need to do it. And 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 bingo, that's it. Both of you needed to go through a transformation um, in life, mind you, not together, but in life separately. To to come together and and have more love for each other, more care, respect, I mean, you name it. Um, yeah, it's it's not the same relationship that you, you had in the past with this person. This person does not want at all to lose you again. Um, there's more to the story to these two characters, but I'm not going to go into it. That, that was my, um, they were both in the reverse, um, with my five of swords, but, um, but that's the point that I want to come across in the reading. Okay. 
Let's clarify it. All right. Six of Swords with the Six of... Sorry, Six of Wands with the Six of Swords. Interesting. Wow. I sense communicate. Listen, if I, don't, if I see another energy that... <laughs> This communication all across this this spread. Positive communication. Positive communication. Loving. Look how she's. Look how she's. Um, her head and the elephant's head are touching each other, right? It's it's mostly the forehead, the. Um, third eye if, if I have to really look at it in detail specifically the third eye but the forehead they're touching each other's forehead right <sighs> yeah I sense past lifetime can it be a soulmate yeah twin flame even I don't really like to use the word twin flame, but whatever. I'm going to use it because it's a six. <laughs> three and three is six, right? Twin. Three and three more is six. Um, but it would, whatever. It, the point is that, um, wow, you two have such so much love for each other. Do you know that, Scorpios? You know what? Do you know who I'm talking about? Because <laughs> um, I don't know how many people you have in your life that uh, wants to come back in your past, uh, come back from the past, you know, from the past. All right. So this is my six of wands. Again, it's fire sign. Okay. You know what? <sighs> Somebody here, it doesn't have to be. They could have it in their birth chart. Okay. So if I'm saying the, the specific um, signs, um, it doesn't have to necessarily mean their sun sign. All right. There's, they could have it in their birth chart is what I mean. So fire sign as well as Taurus big time. Okay. Um, even maybe Scorpio, but this is a Scorpio read, isn't it? Um, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're, if you're doubting um, this past person um, or, or, or if you're doubting the reconciliation um, or the positive communication between the both of you, um, um, the mutual respect and care between the both of you, again, three and three makes six, I have the six of wands here, and... Um, and, and and to me, all these mean flags, um, at least that's the energy that I'm getting from it right now. Uh, these are like flags on a uh, rope. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, like victory. Six of Wands is the victory card. Fire sign. Leo specifically. But um, it, it's going to be victorious. I think your relationship is going to be victorious. You know what? I need to clarify it. Sorry. Um, I can't, I can't leave off the reading like this. <laughs> um, what is the victory? Okay. What is this last victory? Okay, great. I took out a booklet. That's not what I wanted, Spirit, but okay. <sighs> yeah. The Emperor, look, so now I have the Emperor and the Empress with the Strength card and the Seven of, um, the Seven of Pentacles, and they're all in the reversal. Spirit, what's going on? You took a left turn on me. Um, hold on. Let me see what's going on, because I get two majors came out, and that's significant. Okay, um, wow, let me tell you something, okay, uh, um, Scorpios, 
Wow. Now, mind you, these two majors came out in the reverse. But what I sense more from the strength card in the Emperor is that this person was always meant for you. You might have known that. You might have not known that. They may know that. Um, but maybe in the past, in the past, they didn't know that with my Seven of Swords, which is the reason why they want to come back. Do you know? Um, they weren't happy without you. Um, the reconciliation, my Three of uh, Pentacles, they, this person wants a foundation with you. Um, I also see the Seven of Pentacles. My Seven of Pentacles came out. Um, they were all in the reverse. They, they're, they're, they're upset that they didn't work out the relationship in the past. Maybe that they took so long. Again, her, her, her sad face, um, you know, that regret, that shame. I mean, I, I see it here. I see it here. I see it here with the tear. <laughs> On, in, on the fox's um, face, here, and here. <sighs> There's two more of the cards, but I'm not going to go into it. Um, <laughs> you get the point, Scorpios. This person is here for the long haul. Wow, Scorpios. This person did not know that before. This person didn't have the strength to come to you before. Yeah, and then with my seven of pentacles um, in the reverse, you know, they, 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 again, it's just like they took too long and they shouldn't have. Um, yeah, I mean, pentacles to me is, is a foundation as well as a slow energy, but it needs to be slow. Um, I also have Seven of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck in the um, Game of Thrones, um, um, and um, you know it's 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 you know it's you see this man planting pentacles, and they're you know they're sprouting into bigger pentacles, you know. So it's 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 a matter of of, of a slow process um, to you know to watch if to watch a seed flourish. It's, it's not overnight. It's not an overnight process. Do you understand? This transformation that I was talking about in the beginning needed to happen um, for a new beginning. Ace of Swords. I'm sorry, Ace of Wands. A new passionate beginning. All right. Um, I hope that made sense, Scorpios. It, it was a, such a loving, peaceful energy. Thank you for that. Trust me. <laughs> Two thirds of my reads are not that peaceful um, nowadays. But um, yeah, I love this energy for you, Scorpios. All right. Um, if you need a private reading, my email is in the description box. Okay. Love you. Bye.